Let's go on YouTube, Trailer Life here again. Now, if you want to hook to a trailer, here's the back of the tractor, right? See the fifth wheel sits right in the center of the tractor. That means it sits on the side of these drive tires, on the side of these drive tires. It sits right in the middle. So you figure, you hook it to a trailer, you want to line your driver's side tires up with the corner of the trailer. That'll put your, your uh, fifth wheel in the center of the trailer. Right here. See where the fifth wheel been rubbing against it? You live right above there. The kingpin of the trailer. So, what we're going to do is, I'm going to bag up under there, and I'm going to show you how to hook it from here. All right, guys, stay tuned. Now, YouTube, I'm finna turn around and I'm finna align myself with the trailer I wanna hook to. So, what I'm doing is I'm just turning around right now. If I was already lined up, I'm, for demonstration purposes, I'm gonna turn back around. That green trailer. I'm gonna hook to that. So, now, when you first hook it to it, when, when you wanna pull up and you wanna align right in front of that trailer, this is what I usually do. I pull up, ease up. Like this. Once my door hits the, any part of this trailer, preferably to this side of the trailer. Once my door hit it, I am going to swing out this way. And I'm going to line my wheels up with the corner of that trailer. Like this. Just like that. Now you see, right here, I'm a little crooked. But hey, it's all right. Got room. I ain't totally lined up straight with the tractor, with the trailer. But hey, <laughs> it happens. So anyway, as I'm backing up now, I'm going to watch. I'm going to line my drive tires up. <laughs> I'm going to line my drive tires up with the corner of that trailer. YouTube. So now, now that you lined up with it, you backed up to it, you hooked to it. Uh, sometimes you can hear the click when the, when the uh, fifth wheel connects to the kingpin. Sometimes you hear a cling. Sometimes you don't. Depends on how greased it is. Depends on the type of truck it is. Whatever. But either way it go, you want to double make sure you don't get a high hook, or you want to make sure that that kingpin is connected properly. I dropped the trailer before, believe me. It ain't it ain't pretty. But anyway. So one thing I'm gonna do right here is uh, I am going to do what I call as a tug test. Push in a tractor valve. Put it in, put it in like the low gear. That's what you call a tug test. You tug the tractor forward a little bit in low gear. Don't
off, drop the clutch. Just ease off the clutch a little bit. And until you feel like a little tug. And if it ain't hooked, more than likely it'll come from under the trailer. But you do all this before you let the landing gear arms up. You do this with the landing gear arms down, so in case it falls, it won't fall on the ground without the landing gear arms being up. That way you gotta get somebody to pick it up with a forklift or whatever. It'll drop as if you like you never hooked to it in the beginning. So if it's gonna drop, let it drop with the arms down. All right, so now once you do the tug test, you, see, you feel like it's okay, but you still gotta do one more thing to check it and make sure it's actually, actually two more things. To check and make sure it's actually connected correctly. So right now what I'm gonna do is, some people do this, I do this to kind of, I'm a big advocate of saving time. So I don't want to get out, hook to it, come back in, release the air. So this is what I do. I got about a, what's that? About 120 pounds of pressure right now. So I got a couple pounds I can, I can spare. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm about to push this in. Push this in. Make sure your, make sure your tractor valve is pulled out. Push that in. You hear the air? That's because I'm, I'm losing air back there. Make sure it's in neutral. Come on out here. I was always on the passenger side of the truck. That's the service line. It's the blue. It's the service line. It's the blue one. It's always on the passenger side towards the passenger side of the truck. Anyway, next is the lights. Next to the lights in here. Service line. Emergency that I pushed out of the end. So if it got any early, I'm gonna find out right now while I'm already outside. Hold on. Put it on like this. Emergency electrical service. This, the service line always gonna be on, on this side. Emergency always gonna be on this side, the right side. Now you see I, I, pushed, I pushed in an emergency valve when I was on the truck. So if I got any air leaks back here or anywhere, I hear it right now while I'm already out here. I don't have to get in and try to take off like I'm actually going somewhere. And I can't because I got an air leak back there. Uh, now, we did a tug test inside, but we want to make sure that it's connected. So we're going to check right here first. That's the uh, fifth wheel arm. Make sure that pushed in. Make sure it's pushed in to show that it actually connected to something. And make sure there ain't no space between the fifth wheel plate and the... Uh, they call that the apron? Yeah, they call it the apron, I think. This right here. It's the apron. Make sure there ain't no space between now. Sometimes you have space because it's the, somebody who dropped the trailer before you, they probably dropped it kind of high. Your fifth wheel got it, but they got a real good snug on it, so it'll be like a little space right there. Or sometimes you'll have what you call as a high hook. That means the fifth wheel hit the, hit the bottom of the kingpin, but it wasn't enough to grab it. It'll make this go in. Like it's hooked to it, it's really nice. It's actually sitting on top of the uh, fifth wheel uh, locking jaws. So you gotta be careful with that. So we got a solution for that. Let's verify that that thing is really connected like it's, like they said it is. Who is they? Not they, me. I don't know what I'm talking about here. Anywho, all right. We'll walk over this way. From right here, you gotta go up under here. And actually look in there, let me see. Visually look in the kingpin and make sure it's connected. Uh oh, see it? Locking jaws around the kingpin. It's actually connected. Oh, where is it at? There you go. Right there. It's kind of hard to see, but I can see it. It's connected. So, with that being said, move on to the next one. Next is the landing gear arm. On this trailer, the landing gear arm is on this side. First of all, make sure one is on the trailer, because sometimes they be gone, man. I don't know, they, they go on vacation or something. I don't know what they be doing. But anyway, this one is here. So, me, I'll show you about the, the low gears and high gears of this landing thing all later on. Right now, I'm trying to hook to this thing. The basic concept of hooking to a trailer. So, it come in like that. You get it? Push it in like that. And then you watch the spot on here. You look at a spot on here, like I'm gonna, use, I'm gonna use this rust spot right here. See the little middle rust spot right there? If I turn to the right and it stop moving up, then I know I'm going the right way. See, just going up. See it? It's going up, so it means right is up, 
Left is down. I'll explain that again at a later video too. Right now I just want to hook to it. So right now I know right is going up, so I need to hook up to it. Now as I'm lifting, as I'm turning this, this right here, I'm looking at both legs. Cause sometimes the bar in the middle be broke. And one side, this side will go up, and that side stay down. You think it's up. And you go to drive off, all you hear is crunch, crunch, crunch. Cause that side is dragging on the ground. But both arms seem to be going up, so I'm gonna stand back up, finish hooking to it. Now, we got action. We got some action going on around here. I'm trying to tell you the truth. All right, I got that high gear right now. Turn it, I'll explain that, the high and low gear. A landing your arm in a later date. So, got it up. Okay, that's good enough. Both sides is up. I'm gonna pull this out. I'm gonna tuck it. This has a little arm right there. If they have that, sometimes they don't have it. Of course, you know, I'm checking the box up and down. Right now, I'm gonna check these tires. Now, I'm already in the dock, so I can't close my doors. I gotta pull forward to close my doors. I'll show you in a minute. So, right now, you're looking at the lug nuts. Hammer fist the tires. And I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side. I'll see you guys in a minute. All right, you two. So, now, once you did all that checking, you can see I pulled away from the dock. At this, at this particular custom, I got enough room to close my doors. Also, I'm looking inside too, but that's another, that's another, that's another video. Anyway, ain't about empty trailers right now. So I, I hammer fist this side too. It's a lip, but it's, it's like on the inside. You always close the left side, the driver's side door first. Always close the side first. I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. Unhook it. Latches up. And you push it in like this. It's hard, to do, it's hard to do this with one hand, but I'm gonna try to do it anyway. Okay, you better do it with one hand, guys. Hold on, stay tuned. Hi, right, YouTube. Sorry about that. I wasn't able to do it with one hand because this particular box got it got uh, four handles, so you need both hands. You got to turn them at the same time on each door. So I couldn't do it with holding it, holding uh, the camera. That's how you hook to a trailer. You know, I added some extra stuff in there to close the doors and all that stuff too, but you know what I'm saying? If you wanted the basic concept of hooking to a trailer and how to hook to a trailer, in case you don't know, some of you guys may know, I don't know. I'm trying to add value here. Don't stop my glory, man. Don't stop my glory. Anywho, I right, YouTube, hope this video was helpful. Please like and subscribe if you haven't, because I see some people watching, but they don't subscribe. What's stopping you? What what uh what was that what was that slogan? What's holding you back? No, is that uh, Capital One? I don't know. That's why I ain't do. That's why I don't do commercials, man. Anywho, but I right, YouTube. That's how you hook to a trailer. I hope this video is helpful. I'll see you later. Peace.